Hey y'all, it's me, Stop Drop and Roll On. And I decided I was going to get this video done early so that I can get on with the day. Anyway, um, Pierre and I, today is our anniversary, and I was like, kind of like a little, trying to figure out how to say it without, anyway, Pierre and I, today is our anniversary. We've been married a couple of decades, and I can honestly say that God answers prayers. This is something that I have, I don't like to stick stuff on stuff. But I had it stuck on my desk, for real though, because, uh, look, and not because, well, let me just say this, it is work, but it is worth it, and, um, uh, there's a young lady that I'm subscribed to, um, and her, I don't, I don't, she has a lot of, uh, subscribers, and I would really like to say something to her. So maybe she subscribed to me. I don't know if she is or not, but I will, well, I'm not going to say her name or anything like that, but I will say this. She's early in her marriage and, um, they going through what does not seem like typical married stuff, but it really is. And I just want to say if you early in, and when I say early in, I'm talking about early in is different for different people. So I won't put a numerical number on it, but I will say that it is work that you will look back in time and you will understand and know that some of this stuff that you really are battling about, um, that you feel like is just so important and big is really, really, really meniscal when you look at the overall thing. So hold on, hold tight, enjoy your day to day, and when things get unbearable, are you yoke from your standpoint? You feel like they're unbearable. Watch your mouth, because the words say that. Um, well, one my YouTube sister, Mama's Beanies Be Fly, said all the time. Uh, we need to watch the stuff that we say. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. And um, we will, we, we're going to eat whatever it is that we putting out. And the word also says, uh, there's another verse, and I'm, I know word, but I'm not real good with verse and chapter, so I'll put it down below. But there is a, a verse in the Bible that said, talks about, you know, how can, it's almost like can bitter stuff and sweet stuff flow out of the same, you know, spout. And... It says these things ought not be. You can't bless and curse a situation. So if you go down front and you ask, you know, you stand before God as two people and become one, you need to make sure that you are covering your union with positive words. Yes, it is easier said than done. And when you're in the heat of something or something, like I said, that you perceive to be a really, really big thing, like I said, let some time pass and you will honestly see that it is like, seriously, I was getting upset about that. Hold on. Be strong. Watch your mouth. Consider the other person before you consider yourself. And this is the people that are equally yoked. And then know that if they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, you're their first consideration. So basically you got... You doing for the good of the other person and the other person doing things for the good of you. And when we working like that, whether in a marriage situation or not, you will find out as time progresses that things will be all right. I'm talking from experience. I did some, um, this is, Pierre is a wonder. Pierre goes to Waffle House so much that these clowns gave him a coffee cup. He, it, I call it the house of see-through bacon and rubber eggs. And they know him. He go over there and, like I done told y'all before, sit up with his little cronies. And I don't know what they be over there talking about. I don't even go over there. He said they be asking for me to come over there. And I told him, you tell them they don't want none of this. So I don't go over there to Waffle House because... It, they'll have to change the name of the establishment. If I go and see some crazy, I I, I ain't no telling. But I uh, took over his coffee cup today. This is the kind of stuff you do. 
when you're trying to get some mess started. If he come out here and see me with his little coffee cup, he'd be trying to get all funny and stuff. And like, what you doing with my cup? Because I be talking so much trash about the Waffle House, but I have to watch when I do it because if I'm in mixed company, I'm, people be getting all riled up and worked up. And I'm like, number one, the coffee, he acts like the coffee is all good. That coffee at the Waffle House tastes like brown water. It don't taste like, it don't have no strength to it. But he just, he, he look, that's why I don't go over there because I don't need my feelings and stuff showing my face and I'm sitting there doing the and all of that and don't nobody need that when they trying to eat they see through bacon and them rubber eggs now I'm on a revolt this is I'm going from subject to subject I am so tired of buying this electronic stuff and the minute you get it then the stuff is obsolete I you know, yeah, I can go with the flow, but I'm not trying to go with the flow all the time. And on some stuff, going with the flow is just totally not, I don't do that, period, end of story. But when we start talking about electronics, now talking about Jesus, go with the flow, get you in hell. But when I start talking about, um, just remember the Bible say, wide is the road that leads to destruction, and narrow is the road. That leads to eternal life, and there's very few people on that road. I plan on being on a narrow road. Watch out. But this here, I bought this flip camera. I've had this thing for several years. This ain't nothing I just went out and laughed. So before people start, boy, ho, ho, that ain't what this is about. What I'm saying is I've had this for a long time. On my old channel, this is what I used to do my recording. Why? Because it had a little thing for the little stand. I got a little... Never man, don't matter what I got. It's irrelevant. But this thing works. It works now. Um, I figured I had to charge it again, but they stopped making the little uh platform for um for certain things. And I'm telling you like yesterday, I take my juice. And I was doing the most. I was talking, but y'all can't hear that because I was talking to Scrampton while I was making my juice. Um, Pierre, this is Pierre on one hour anniversary. Look at him. Pierre thought he was a mater d. Y'all, y'all, I'll be trying to tell y'all. Oh, let me show y'all this. He said a nice little table and everything. He called himself being real romantic. I lit the candles. That's all I did. Thank you. Let me see what else. Oh, here my grandma. That thing is cute. See, and we talk noise all over the place. And I got pictures. Here she is singing. This was her birthday, y'all. Oh, Lord. Just. So I can't get rid of my flip phone because it's got so much stuff in it. But I got to figure out how to. This is me and Pierre. Well, this is my cousin's wedding. I can't mess my cousin sitting up there looking crazy. I don't know why she was doing that, but that was the bride and groom. There I am taking a picture of my own monkey self. Okay, wait a minute. That was my uncle talking. He always got words of wisdom. Sometimes they wise and sometimes they otherwise. I didn't mean it in no malicious way. I'm just saying. This is me and Pierre. We went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We was all up in there taking pictures and didn't even know we weren't supposed to be doing it. We wasn't bothered. We did what we wanted to do. This right here is some stuff from my garden a year before last. Why the thing keep reverting back to me? I don't want to look at that. That was, this was me. This is for Chia Chatter Vlog. Mm-hmm. I went with my friend, um, uh, with my friend, I, see, that's when I had my hair done. So I am with a couple of friends, and we are in an RV. And just in case you think I'm kidding, I'm not kidding, okay? For real. See, I've, I've been doing a lot of stuff. I just didn't know I was doing stuff. We went on a little adventure, and it was quite the adventure. I had to get used to going down the street 
trying to read while I'm rolling. I'm sitting up here thinking I need to be up in the front in the captain's seat. I was a guest. I ain't had no business up there. That would have been just like that Bible verse where it say when you go into a place, go and sit at the low seat. Lest the person is running the, the situation, come in and tell you this seat is not for you. Go on back there to the back and then bring somebody else in. I ain't had no business up there in the captain's seat. No way, but I was sure co-captain seat. But I sure felt I needed to be up there showing people. Uh, uh, let me turn this thing off now. Showing people and telling folks what to do. And that was an adventure. It's the most stuff I could tell y'all about that. It was an adventure. It was funny. At some points, it was scary. But at the end of it, I really loved it. And I really want to go RVing again, really and truly. It was just a, it was a trip. But back to this flip camera. I got to figure out how to start using this thing again. I'm going to figure out what platform edits with this situation. Because I'm going to use this. So if y'all got a flip camera and you know some hacks, that's the new word for workaround. Y'all send me some hacks so I can be hackerilla with this. Because I just refuse to throw. That's one piece of... Y'all remember when they had the little planner... Uh, I can't remember the name of the thing, but it was like this. That was the beginning of all of this craziness. Anyway, I got one more thing to share with y'all. Have you ever ordered something and you forgot? Like, uh, usually when I order stuff, it comes back pretty quick, okay? And so I don't have time to forget that I ordered this thing. But this something was a little different because it's been like two months in the making. Like, I looked at it for like two weeks before I actually ordered. And then I placed the order, and the order was like three and a half weeks ago, which I totally forgot about. I would have remembered because I'd be going back checking my stuff. But when I went outside to get the mail, and um, it's this tube, the, wait a minute. Public service announcement. If you work for the postal service or you have some friends or uh, uh, people you know or like or don't like, even if you, whoever, I might have to tell Pierre to pass out some pamphlets down at the Waffle House too. Stop putting stuff outside people's door and at least ringing the doorbell. At least ring the doorbell. I went outside. I don't really know how long. The tube had to have been out there at least 24 hours. I go out there to get the mail, and I was just as surprised to see something out there on the chair on the front porch as I was when I went out there and the little snake was out there. It was almost the same reaction. Anyway, I ordered this, and I thought I was ordering it on cardstock, but apparently it's on some type of, like, uh, pletherite. It ain't like the stuff. That, it's like a banner that you will use over and over again. Hence, you know it ain't paper because they put grommets on it. But I'm going to have all this taken off and I'm going to have this frame even though it's not paper. Y'all know I'm all about words. And it's more of them all over the house. They all over the house. Um, you'd think it was a reading class going on in here. But this quote, when I saw it, spoke volumes to me. Okay? People are often unreasonable and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind... People may accuse you of ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are honest, people may cheat you. Be honest anyway. If you find happiness, people may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today may be forgotten. Do good anyway. Give the world your best and it may never be enough. Give your best anyway. For you see, in the end, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. And this quote is by uh, Mother Teresa. And it ain't like I run around finding quotes by M Mother Teresa or nothing. But this thing right here, this, I can find a Bible verse for every last one of these uh, statements. Seriously. And um, I love this. I, well, you know, I like it love you know what i'm mean but yeah so this will be getting framed i already know what type of frame i want 
want for it, and it will be going up in this year, Hacienda. Okay, then? Y'all have a good day. Toodles.